to love and romance tarot readings per usual i'm excited to get into today's video because today we're getting into your next romantic offer what and when so we're going to see what the offer is exactly who it's coming from and when it's coming in so i'm super excited for this video we're going to get into the finer details to really figure it out um per usual my etsy shop is always linked in the description below if you like your own private tarot reading you can find me there other than that pause the video if you need more time with the piles to decide and we're just gonna jump right in so we have group one with the amazonite stone and this is the fashion tarot we have group two with the sunstone and the crystal visions tarot we have group three with the appetite stone and the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. And then we have group four with the Sodalite Crystal Point and the Mermaid Tarot. So again, take all the time you need if you need to meditate on the piles, pause the video, and we are just gonna jump right in. Alrighty, if you chose group one with the Amazonite Crystal Point and the Fashion Tarot, this is your reading, your next romantic offer. What is it going to be? When is it going to be? Getting into all that good stuff. So let's just jump right in. Let's try to get the what first. What is this offer coming through? Spirit, Tapping into the energy of pile one with the Amazonite. What is the offer that they're going to be receiving next? What is their next romantic offer? What is their next romantic offer? Oh. What is the next offer coming through for them? Oh, this is very interesting, you guys. Um, I'm getting a lot of movement with this one. Oh, I just noticed this one was flipped over as well. I'm getting a lot of movement with this one. You guys may be moving the energy because we do have the law of attraction here. You may have been working with energy work, you know, practicing the law of attraction, doing, you know, a different manifestation technique or a new manifestation technique. This could be energetic, but also I'm getting movement as far as like communication, you communicating with someone, you even initiating some things. For some of you, it's going to be a physical move or a vacation. There's a place you've been called to. And it's like, I have the money right now to do it. So there may be a windfall coming in for some of you um, because it's like spirit is kind of tapping you into like this perfect opportunity to do something you've always wanted to do. For me personally, I've always wanted to visit Arizona alone. I want to go alone. Um, really good place for, uh, you know, healing certain places in uh, Arizona are, you know, energy portals like Sedona, Arizona, for example. So I've always wanted to go alone or like with one person that's not going to bug me um, so that I can really tap into the energy and kind of go on an energetic retreat. But it's like something has always stopped me, you know, oh, I'm nervous, you know, what if I don't want to, you know, the, the pandemic, you know, like all these different reasons I would make up as to why I couldn't do it. Um, so I, I feel something like that with you guys. I feel like that's why I was called to share that little bit because there's a trip that you've always wanted to go on or some, somewhere you've always wanted to go explore and spirit is giving you the perfect opportunity to do that and it's going to be for a decent amount of time you're going to be able to spend a good amount of time there but we'll keep going okay so we have take a leap of faith and put yourself first only when you're willing to step out of your comfort zone will you reap great rewards put yourself first says loving energy or sorry it says loving yourself makes you more romantically attractive so there's definitely an energy of choosing you. There's maybe someone you've been kind of waiting for. And Spirit is like, well, you don't see any movement with that. So let's explore this in the meantime. And I feel like a, like a, it's serendipity, you know, it's kind of like a collection of events lead you to your next romantic offer. I do feel like it's a stranger. It may be someone that you see first and, and you'll know, like if Spirit is telling you, approach them, say something, compliment their sweater, you know, start a conversation, say you're traveling, um, to Arizona yourself and you're at a crystal shop and you see someone and they really catch your attention you feel drawn to them you'll know in your soul and your spirit if it's if spirit is telling you to make the first move in that way 
Um, but I am seeing like you having the perfect set of circumstances to make a decision that's leading you to the love, if that makes sense. So like you having the perfect amount of money, flights being cheap, flights being available, you know, everything just kind of like working out perfectly. You still have to book the flights and go on the trip. Um, but it's like, you know, you have the perfect set of circumstances to make the first move towards whatever this is. And this is going to be individual because I feel like it's kind of like everything is tied together, like life purpose or something about your own personal journey as a as a person is also in alignment with your journey for love. So it's all kind of connected. Um, we have law of attraction. You have been manifesting this relationship. Everything you want will soon be yours. You love to see it. I absolutely love this, you guys. It just kind of feels so so magical and magic. It's so magic, you know, like a lot of these things that we do that we label as magic are really just a combination of persistence and belief, you know, so spirituality in that sense. But a lot of it, you know, we really are pulled to do ourselves. We still have to make the final action. And with this, it truly feels like magic. It's like you get to the destination. You're like, how did I even get here? Like, of course, you know how you got you got there. But it's like, how did I get here? How did this happen? You know, it feels very magical. It feels like very magical minimal effort was required on your part because of the way things just worked out and we're like everything's moving so fast and it's so fantastical so we have free yourself and beware of codependency going back to what i was saying with the put yourself first this is an opportunity for you so if you're that kind of person who likes to take everyone with you you like to um like make sure everyone can win you like to put everyone on your friends you're like oh this is a journey i can i can take with my best friend this is something for you um so you really are going to have to put yourself first and um, this is going to be a solo thing here we have free yourself beware of codependency free yourself says you don't need to be in control of everything for a loving relationship to be successful and beware of codependency addictive behaviors are affecting your romantic life so spirit may be getting you out of your comfort zone physically literally out of the city state town country that you're in because it's it's almost like <laughs> it, it reminds me of like so me personally when i eat when i go out to a restaurant i have to get a box and put my food in a box or i'll just keep nibbling at it i can be full as ever but with the food in front of me that's kind of the energy i feel like with this person in your same city just down the street or with this person you know they're always going to reply even if it's toxic it's just like you can't help it you know so spirit is getting you out of spirit is getting you out of you know that space spirit what can you tell me about group one i'm just going to pull these really quick to get into your energy because again there's something bigger happening here so i'm not going to do this like i'll probably do the other piles yours is a bit different we have lady portia with divine order and kwan yin with care and compassion do what you feel is right an important lesson is unfolding uh kwan yin with care and compassion choose to be loved do what is right for everyone involved offer a helping hand so if someone is saying i need space i need time to you know heal figure myself out decide what i want give them that space by killing two birds with one stone taking this amazing opportunity and again it is an opportunity but more the best way to describe this it is a set of circumstances Ooh, the card the deck just split itself in half and we got the very soon card so this is coming up rather quickly so for those of you who are like i don't have enough money to travel or to do anything fantastical again you're going to get the perfect set of circumstances clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now is what it says at the bottom of the card but that's definitely talking about the time frame and how everything is moving so quickly if you can hear a bunch of madness, my cat is tweaking in the background, running up and down the stairs with those crazy eyes, how cats do, looking around all frantic, getting scared by her own shadow, gnawing at her own tail. She's, she's, she's doing the most right now. Wow. So we have engagement and wedding. That's crazy. Everything is moving so fast for you, group one. I'm getting chills. I feel this like excitement in my chest. That, that may be where you feel, um, like when you get excited um, or like it, it's not anxiety. Anxiety typically happens on the chest as well, but it's like the upper chest just right under your neck. That may be where you feel like tension in general. Like if you have something that you want to say, but you're not comfortable saying it, that's where you may feel it. When you get excited, that's where you may feel it, you know? 
but um we have engagement and then wedding this is insane your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment this situation involves marriage you guys I really, 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 really want you to go with the flow. And 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 you're gonna have to choose yourself. And it's funny because I didn't wanna make a, an assumption about what this card was about, so I didn't really say anything about it. I just kinda read it, but it says, do what you feel is right and important lesson is unfolding. And I feel like that lesson is when people give you pushback or when people say, I don't wanna be a part of your story, when people self-sabotage themselves, let them and allow the spirit to guide you to your next opportunity because it just feels like everything is kind of taking off so quickly for you guys group one um so let's get some more of the what and then we'll get the when i got two different decks to tell us when so let's see spirit can you tell me more details about this for pile one bittersweet <clears throat> Mm. Wow. A lot of personal growth. What this situation is teaching you is seven of coins in reverse. You got to know when to hold and when to fold. And this is a situation when to fold, you know. Seven of coins in reverse is kind of like an abandoning ship opportunity. This is or, or uh, energy. It's kind of like an energy of, yeah, you've built a solid foundation. You know this person. You like this person. You get along with them to some degree, but you got to know when to let go. If people are cl clearly telling you no or if in your general space, there's only like one kind of person there. This doesn't have to necessarily be like one person you're you're stuck on or heartbroken over this i'm getting like child's father energy too like this could be your child's father your child's mother um that you're still attached to or that you may lean on when there's nothing going on just so you have someone um but spirit is kind of teaching you through this experience as well when to let go and when to release and best case scenario you get a trip that you get to go on it's fun you reconnect with yourself cool you come back home um, you know, or sorry, that's the worst case scenario. Best case scenario, you, you leave, you explore this, you get married, you get, someone wants you right away, they engage, you know, you get married and you move on. Worst case scenario is you still heal yourself and you come back a better, more developed, more balanced person to handle the stuff that you left behind. So it's like, there really is a win-win here. We got the three of swords. So that's that bittersweet energy. You know, there's definitely an energy of, I, I feel like that's, um, also a, an initiate, like, that's kind of what initiates this this freedom energy, this willingness that you guys have, because if everything was perfect here, and spirit was to was to try to like uproot you and get you to leave, I feel like that would be harder to leave than a situation like this. So I feel like it kind of had to happen this way because spirit knows like that's the boost you needed to really let you know your old life behind. But we have the Queen of Wands in reverse and the Page of Queens in reverse. Queen of Wands in reverse, it's like you're not appreciated here, you're not valued here, people don't even understand who you are, what you are here, they don't resonate with you. She is really tweaking in the back, like, I'm staring at my cat, she is freaking out, crazy, crazy kook. And then we have the Page of Coins in reverse, so it's just like the options that you guys have. Um, like really aren't able to provide you the substance and the sustenance that you need to survive. So I kind of feel time, time running out on, on where you currently live. You guys are going to, I feel like the majority of you, like 70%, 80% of you are going to move within the next two years. And this may be like you getting to explore this city, um, I feel like this is going to be what catapults or confirms to you that you want to leave and this is where you want to go. Justice in reverse and the strength card. That is definitely a lesson learned. And that's that three of swords, bittersweet energy. There, there still feels like, you know what? It's not even that there are things left unsaid, left undone where you are. It's more of an energy like you feel like you took an L. A lot of times it's not like... We really need clarity on a situation. We really need closure on this situation. What it really is, is we don't want to feel like we lost in a certain situation or we don't want to feel like we wasted our time or we were used or we made the wrong decisions. And that's exactly what you have here. And if you can accept that, you guys, you get to move on to a, to a life of abundance, a lot better options, a lot better scenery, better energy, where, a place where people understand you, where they can take you. And like I said, I feel like, you know, you going to visit the city or this place, you doing this travel, it could be energetically, it could be astral, this could be a spiritual ascension as well. 
um, you doing this, this is going to be the confirmation like, okay, I've actually been to the city. Now I can go back home. I can plan. I can get all my stuff boxed up. You know, I can, uh, and, and I can make this move, you know, or if you do need a little bit of time, this can give you the time, but I feel like spirit's going to make it. So everything happens very, very fast. Um, I feel like Spirit's going to make it so everything happens very, very fast. Yeah, we got the Eight of Swords in reverse, which is funny because she's blindfolded. So this is like immediately you seeing everything for what it is. You having the utmost clarity, such a spiritual experience. Like this is going to be a spiritual experience in itself. Even though it's something that you're living out in the 3D, this is going to be like, you know, immediately everything's revealed. Immediately you understand why certain things happen, etc. So this, I know this is about like your next romantic offer, what and when, but this story is all about you, baby. Like this is everything here has to do with you. It doesn't really have to do with this other person. I'm not getting very much on their energy. Maybe we'll switch decks to try to get their energy um, because spirit just keeps going and going and going in depth about your story. And I think that's the point. You know, I, I feel like you focused a lot of your energy on being a help and healing other people. And now it's just time to, for you to receive. And when you receive, you're being given something. So you don't necessarily know what you're giving, you're, you're getting until it's presented to you. Whereas when you give, 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 you pretty much know what's going to happen. Even if it's, you know, not the best outcome, like you have much more control over the situation. And I, I feel like, you know, you're not losing control, but it's just like you're receiving. So it is a different energy and you're going to have to be initiated into it. It's going to feel different. It's going to be uncomfortable. Um, but the universe is really going to take care of you, you guys. All right, Spirit, anything else from the tarot deck to say? And then we'll move on. Anything else to say from here? All right, I don't think so, so let's keep going. I'm gonna try to pull the energy of the person coming through. It's just so funny, like everything is really about you and it's just like you're receiving and you know, I mean obviously if you agree to marry this person, it's gotta be good. Spirit, can you tell me, can you reveal to us what is the energy? What is the energy of the person making this engagement offer, this wedding offer, long-term uh, life partner relationship offer? What is their, their, the energy of that person? Wow. And that's so funny because early in your spread, I used the example like it's like you, you know, going to travel somewhere, you meet this person in a crystal shop because they're very much so spiritually tapped in and connected. I've always been the spiritual one in my relationships. I don't know what it would be like to date someone spiritual, <laughs> but um, forgiveness and enlightenment. It's like this person wants you to forgive the people that you've dealt with in the past. They lead you to a more loving version of yourself. They help you expand spiritually. It's like they don't want you to carry that in your aura for your sake. It's like, you know, this is for you. This is not for them. They're very much so spiritual. You know, they're enlightened. They tap you into forgiveness. Ooh, we have the adventures card. So this person is fun. I feel like they like to travel, but like RV style. You know, they wanna they wanna take a trip up the coast, visiting as many states as you can, uh, in an RV, camping out, trying different foods in different states and cities, meeting people. I feel like they're um, like an an extrovert in the sense that they have no issues making um, like small talk or conversations with new people, but they also pay a lot of attention to you and want to make sure you're taken care of. I see you guys just adventuring. Feels like a very free life. We have the truth card here. So there's almost this energy like this is what you were always supposed to have. I feel like this person is very honest with you and truthful. If you've always dated liars or dealt with liars, people who just can't handle telling the truth, this person is not like that. They are very different in the sense that they can be honest with you. And 
this is what you, you know it takes to have a healthy relationship they're gonna tell you what's bothering you instead of you know waiting until later to just try to get back at you you know i hate when you date people like that i hate when that happens in relationships where it's like you're dating someone and next thing you know it seems like you know they're just trying to be mean or hurt your feelings and really it's because of something they felt that you did to them earlier and instead of talking about it they decide to get mad at it and um it's like you can't fix it at that point. So I like that they're not like that. They're very truthful and honest. So this person is giving real grown-up energy. Like, real grown-up energy. We have transformation and diligence. So they're a hard worker. I feel like they may be a cardinal sign or someone who's very cardinal. Um, someone who's like a go-getter. Someone very diligent. They work on things, whether it's the relationship, whether it's communication, whether it's compromising, or whether it's literally working and making money. Um, very diligent when it comes to that they value stability and they also value adventure so this person is the perfect mix of like a balance of a spiritual being who needs freedom and also um someone who still is in this 3d re reality no not so far into the headspace that they don't acknowledge the things that need to be done in order for you to continue because you do live here you know so and then we have transformation. So I feel like this person is going to be a very transformative energy for you. Um, spirit, what energy do they embody? And then we're going to get into um, the time frame we're looking at. What energy do they embody, Spirit? What energy do they embody? I knew Pluto was going to come up. I don't know how, but I was hearing Pluto, Pluto, Pluto. We have Pluto and Capricorn that came up for the energy that they embody. This doesn't mean that they are a Capricorn. They could have like a Capricorn Venus and that's why it's showing up. They could have a Capricorn rising because that's how they appear. Um, but this is what's coming, coming up. Hard worker, dependable, earth sign energy. And then Pluto um, is R Pluto rules Scorpio. So that's a uh, uh, Scorpio or sorry, <laughs> Pluto is the planet of beginning and endings. There can also be an air of mystery to Pluto, which your whole spread is about, you know, a new beginning and endings. Um, there can also be a mystery there with that Plutonian energy as that is Scorpionic energy, um, a dark energy, not dark in a bad way, dark in a spiritual way, like dark matter, the unknown exploration type of energy. We have Aquarius season that came up January 20th to February 18th. We're getting into the time frame now. This could also be when a specific shift happens for you that catapults this journey. What else could we say? Something that happened in Aquarius season. That could have been when the windfall came through. We have Speedy. Yeah, things are going to take off rather quickly. If I had to say, I would say within the next few months. Anything else here, Spirit? Anything else on the time frame? Okay, we have summer and we have November. So there's a little bit of a range here, but I feel like, you know, November could represent when you're born to give you confirmation. You could be born in Aquarius season, etc. Be open with the time frame, but that is what I have for you. Such a loaded spread here. So much was said. Um, and yeah, I'm wishing you guys the best. You know, I definitely feel an adventure coming up for you. You can always find me on Etsy in the description if you want your own private tarot reading. But that is what I have for you today, Group 1, and I'll talk to you soon. All right, if you chose Group 2 with these sunstone points... And the Crystal Visions Tarot, this is your reading. Your next romantic offer, what it will be, when is it going to come in? Pile 1 was really juicy, so I'm excited to see what you guys got going on. Spirit, tapping into Pile 2, who chose the Sunstone. What is their next romantic offer? Ooh. Definitely long awaited. Oh my god, we have a lot of cards that came out for you guys at once, too. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Okay, okay. Well, first of all, as far as the connection itself, we got new love and magnetic connection. Some other cards, um, 
alluding to a new love connection as well so if i had to say i would say that this is not someone you know someone you've talked to romantically this is a new love that's forming so if this is someone you know it would be someone you haven't explored really any romance with at this point because it's a new love it's it's budding it's blooming that kind of thing very very new but it's a magnetic connection there's a very strong pull and intensity that draws you to this person so you feel energetically connected to this person energetically attracted to this person it's very natural for you to end up in the same space as this person because you just kind of can't help it this person makes you feel very naturally very naturally connected we have new love a new chapter begins whether it's with a new person or in a current relationship okay well that card did say whether it's in a current relationship so this could be the tides turning um on a relationship that you are already in let's be open but no matter what this is an unbreakable love connection so if this is someone that you you have already been dating good freaking job because you guys made it through the other side made it through to the other side of the rainbow unbreakable love this person has genuine love for you you can overcome any issues that may arise so tapping into that energy that's definitely an energy of someone who is like really like you're my partner in crime i'm choosing you i'm choosing to do this life thing with you like this is this is this is enough for me this is what it is for me and if this doesn't work out it won't be anyone else type of love like very much so someone who likes to hold on tight we have be optimistic and patience patience says some things still need to be dealt with for this connection to manifest so spirit is telling you to be patient with the timing with the process we're going to get into the timing um in this spread as well but spirit is telling you to be patient you may be getting a little antsy you may be feeling like dang there must be something that i'm supposed to do or i'm being called to do because nothing is going on yet so spirit is saying be patient be patient things are still being worked out in the background the 3d does not always depict what's happening or what's to come so try not to even pay attention to the 3d and then we have be optimistic keep in mind that you create your reality you can't attract love with a negative mindset so if you have that kind of like view like you know these girls ain't sh like these men ain't sh like no one's worth anything they're all players nowadays you're going to attract that energy to you because a lot of a lot of the whole spirituality jam is the belief truly your belief can shape your future your belief can shape what happens to you so try to keep a neutral belief at the bare minimum you ain't gotta be like sunshine rainbows optimistic glass half full but try to be neutral at least and then we have balance there needs to be a healthy balance of physical emotional and spiritual intimacy intimacy for a relationship to be sustainable so if you're having a relationship with someone already this could be like you built your connection on the emotional aspect but spiritually you don't connect they don't have that ability to connect with you in a higher level this is someone you can bond with someone who understands your you know 3d struggle the things that you've been through but they don't have that spiritual connection where they feel as intensely as you do or they can feel the layers the other layers that you guys connect or this could be like you started a physical relationship with someone and they don't have the ability to emotionally connect with you um regardless though this is a relationship especially if it's new love that will likely start i would say spiritually then emotionally and then physically but it's going to be a balance of all three so there's no need to look at this like from any sort of moral perspective like oh if you sleep with someone right away then that means xyz because it's going to be a balance regardless so i wouldn't pay too much attention to that kind of stuff but we have letting go if someone leaves you confused more than comforted you need to reassess their access to you so spirit is kind of saying you know there is a transition that is happening here in your love life and for some of you, it's going to be like someone being exited out of your life. Ooh, very soon. That means things are going to happen pretty quickly for you. So be patient. Don't even focus on like what's happening. Just allow the universe to bring this in. But just for you to know, it is coming in very soon. Um, but yeah, for some of you, I feel like this is completely new. Some of you, I feel like you're reaching another level of um, your connection with someone that you do know hmm. I feel like you guys may um, frequently trauma bond with people and that may have been what 
kept you with a certain kind of person we have heal healing family issues and free yourself and then we have pay attention to the red flags this is giving me an energy that you may be attracted to people that have grit but it's like you look for people who have trauma because you know that overcoming that trauma means that they're going to have grit they're going to have a story they're going to be someone who has that like Grit, that's the best way to explain it, honestly. But I feel like you may go about it the wrong kind of way or that may be what's kept you in the same cycle of having the same romantic experience where it's like, okay, if you're gonna be the healer, that's who you're gonna be. Sure, you know, you can you can start a relationship healing your person and it starts like you're making a connection in that way and then it's growing into something more. But typically, typically, those relationships end and after all after they're all good and healed they leave they go find someone else who's equally with them there you know because a lot of people honestly just don't like to associate with that version of themselves so i feel like you're being initiated out of a certain type of partner into something more you guys are both coming into the same space in the same place mind body and soul like so this person is someone who's equally gone through the ringer learned from it came out the better end when in, in in more of a position where they can be a healer you know to you and they have stuff to give and and they're full they're ready that kind of thing very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now so spirit is saying you can take the time to let me know from this place i do this every couple of months personally because i'm always learning new things going through new spiritual ascensions meeting new people that show me like more and more of what i need so i always communicate with spirit every couple of months about what i'm looking for in a partner so even if you've already done this before, you've let spirit know like what you're looking for or what you think. I'm sorry, I gotta crack my knuckles. Um, what you think you want and need that may have changed. So it's a good idea to write that down. But I see the energy getting lighter for you moving forward. We got the playfulness card. Um, this one does say to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. For so honestly, I'm getting like a 50/50 energy. Some of you, this is someone you're already dealing with. Some of you, this is new. It's about 50/50. Um, bottom of pay attention to the red flags it says the signs are cautioning you healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents and i feel like that's uh something that you kind of bring uh like to the forefront of other people like your love life will benefit you'll be a better partner if you forgive your parents or if you forgive that person that did this to you like i'm getting a vice versa energy where this is something you've brought to other people's attention like to help them in their healing and, and vice versa. You may have some family things that are being called for you to let go. But um, the red flags aren't even red flags. They're only red flags to you because now you're kind of looking for something more in love. That's why it's a red flag. It's not a red flag because, you know, these people are bad. People who need healing are bad or anything like that. It's more of a red flag because spirit is saying, okay, if you see these kind of qualities that you've seen in your past partners and new people moving forward, that's a sign that they're going to need healing versus they're ready to be in a relationship with you. So I feel like a lot of you really cycling out of that um, period in your life where you've been the healer and, and moving into something else. It's time to take back control of your life is what it says at the bottom of the spread. So... That is what we have for that. Let's get some more info on this new love or this person. What's going on here? Spirit, for group two with the Sunstone, can you give me more about this upcoming romantic offer? Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at this, you guys. We got the two of cups, the lovers, and the magician that came out all at the same time. Two of cups and the lovers are the most romantic cards in the freaking tarot deck. Well, Ten of Cups is pretty romantic too. And the Ten of co Coins. Four of Wands too. <laughs> so it's not the only ones. But the Lovers definitely is without a doubt. Two of Cups definitely represents like a, a soulmate connection, a deep bond. You see how, you know, he's kind of filling her cup. And um, it's just like this mutual bond and love that we share, this ability to give to each other. And the magician, which is exactly what we've been talking about with spirit kind of telling you to clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Um, all about receiving and about manifesting. I do feel you guys have manifested this either with your experience or quite literally. 
Four of Swords in reverse. Love it, love it. So I feel like you guys just got out of a period of healing and now it's like go, go, go energy because Four of Wands is, or sorry, Four of Swords is definitely an energy of pausing, learning, assessing, refocusing, grounding, thinking about uh, what you've been through and learning and growing from that. Yeah, there's, there's definitely a... Oh, we got the ten of cups that came out for you guys i'm freaking shook i'm about to like tear up okay i'm a cancer so it is what it is crying is not a dramatic thing for us it's very much so just normal you cry you get over it, you have a snack you move on <laughs> you, you cry in your car you clock back into your shift um i just love the progression that i see with you guys because it's like the lovers with the energetic connection you meet this is so romantic first of all like so romantic and it's not just about you anymore just filling and filling filling other people's cups to the point where ace of cups in reverse you don't have anything left to give it's not about these painful cycles anymore giving to people who don't deserve it in the end because they don't give a damn to you ten of swords they kind of leave you hurt broken battered and bruised to figure it out you know on your own like we're getting out of that cycle which is why i still would say 50 50 but that person would seriously have to go through a 180 for for this to be someone already in your life because this feels so new and fresh and and so loving but i just love to see the connection and, and the progression it's like the lover's card we're, we're led to each other in a very synchronistic uh kind of way from the universe itself having a hand on us and then we make a bond you know this is like the spiritual connection with the lovers uh two of cups that's the emotional connection that we were talking about it said spiritual emotional and then what physical and then what what happens after the physical right ten of cups and now on the ten of cups we got the baby <laughs> i love it oh my god oh my god like wow 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 this is amazing and we have the 10 10 here with these two tens so that's really that beginning and end ending energy that's all that's all 10 10 is about <sighs> starting something new where you have all three mind body and soul connection you know you got the spiritual the emotional where you can give to each other you can fill their cup they can fill yours and you can trust that they will fill your cup oh my god oh my god and then it 10 of cups that is so beautiful you guys like wow 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 very rarely shook by tarot readings anymore i i've done so so many i've literally done thousands and it's just like oh my god another 10 a lot of 10 energy with you guys 10 of wands is also cycle completion this is also um migrating to a new version of yourself so your life is about to change this next romantic offer is going to change your life we have the star card in reverse so it's not happening the way you anticipated it's not happening the way you would have asked for it to happen if you could have asked the universe this could have been a delay you could have had to wait a lot longer than you wanted to or you know for those of you who this is new love you know you could have wanted this to be the case with the person of the past we have the two of pentacles so I feel like right now this is kind of where you are like you can you can start to feel and tap into the the new um, energy of your new life. But at this point, it may just be patronizing like it may be irritating <laughs> um, to tap into like the new energy if you can't fully have it. So you kind of feel like spirit is dangling a, a fruit in front of your face like you can see your life getting better, but it's still like. Whatever it gets better and then like the, the buzz wears off from like the new thing that's in your life that's exciting. It's like you're looking around and you're like, but I'm still where I have been. And it's frustrating, patronizing, like don't even show me. Don't even like just give me it all at once or I don't want nothing. <laughs> Spirit, give me the energy of the person making this romantic offer and then we'll get into the timing of it all. What is their energy? We have Aquarius and Mercury energy. Mercury, the planet of communication, the planet of daily life. There's definitely a life change happening here, you guys. Um, 
And then we have Aquarius that came up. They could have an Aquarius Venus. They could have an Aquarius rising, Aquarius sun. Um, and also it can just like be that they embody a lot of Aquarius, Aquarian energy, very much so a wild card, someone who's a free thinker. Those are the ones that flipped around for you. So I'm going to take those. Oops. Um, and let's see, we have Jupiter. Wow. Jupiter is all about expansion, expansion of the home, expansion of, um, like new job. Um, this could be new abundance. This could be like the coming together of two, uh, financial situations. So two is better than one. Perhaps you can't have the life you want on your own, at least currently, but with this person, you guys coming together, you have more than enough to create a beautiful life. And you know, I was thinking about this the other day personally, uh, and I, I, I've always answered like, you know, when people ask you, what would you rather have money or love? Like, would you rather have en endless amounts of money or love? And through my journey personally, I've realized like even though having endless money can bring you stability and it can bring you happiness, love is something that isn't promised. Love is something that people do not have to give to you. And love is what makes it worth it to go to work. When you can come home and truly have love, you know, that's 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 what makes it all work worth it to work hard for that vacation so you can spend that quality time with your partner and I've always answered oh money easy <laughs> money easy I can create a life of happiness and love by myself but truly love is not promised and if it's money or love I mean shoot I'm trying to have both for real but um with you guys I see a lot a lot of love here and you guys living a very genuine honest connected life and I am so happy for you I love that we have Pluto Pluto is the planet of beginning and ending, so that's very much so exactly what we have here in your spread. Well, all the tens, ten, ten energy, the ten of swords, ten of wands, definitely talk about um, some cycles ending that brought you a lot of lessons and learning, but that were very hard. Ten of cups is like cycle completion in the sense that you have everything you've always kind of wanted, so a different kind of ending and also an initiative into a new beginning for you guys because this is going to be like what you've kind of been waiting for. And then we have Neptune energy, which is funny because <laughs> Neptune is all about illusions, the consciousness, and I feel like this is just like so, this is, this is definitely a nod to the unexpected element here for you guys like about how spirit kind of hid this from you didn't didn't show you didn't let you be a part of you know this part of the journey so we're getting into the cards of time we have february which would be in alignment with that aquarius energy we have that can also be talking about um that could also be talking about hang what was i just gonna say um you know, someone's zodiac or birthday, you could be born in February, that could be further confirmation for you. Um, we have waited out for a better time, so that's definitely that patience energy where it's like star in reverse. This didn't happen when you would have, like, if, if, if it was up to you, you would have had this a lot sooner. But then we have Virgo season, August 23rd to September 22nd, so that may be when this is actually coming through for you guys. So yeah, I absolutely love your spread. So romantic, so deep, so it's just everything. Spirit, can you tell me anything else here? Let me pull from this one actually. Let me get one card at least from here. What can you tell them? We have charity with prayer and contemplation. Connect with heaven, ask and you shall receive. More of that energy of spirit, spirit really kind of telling you, you know, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Telling you to make sure you have a part in this because um, spirit is listening. Spirit is listening right now. Um, so this is the time to like really go stupid, go crazy with what it is that you want to really ask for like the best of the best of the best of the best of the best. And then we have abundance and delight. So you're being initiated into a version of life that's going to be so fulfilling, so wonderful, mystical, magical, very, very cheesy, romantic kind of energy. Like these are the couples that you look at and you're like, I want what they have. Not because they're couple goals, but like fake, you know, it's all for fake, you know, spending thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on freaking Valentine's Day on Christmas posting out on instagram no this is the kind of couple you see in real life 
and you see them and they're at a restaurant and they're so close and they're just enjoying each other little kisses here and there they're holding hands going shopping you know brushing up against each other just kind of like rubbing their their partner's arm you know like that kind of thing that like really sweet genuine romance that twinkle in their eye you know that that laughing private jokes you know that kind of thing inside jokes and things like that like that true romantic connection and it's not for show they're really happy you're gonna have that group too you're gonna have exactly that wow it's the first time i took a deep breath in your entire reading because it was just like so much coming out but um yeah you guys you can find me on etsy if you want a private tarot reading that is what i have for you today that was your wonderful beautiful reading and i'll talk to you soon If you chose group three with the appetite stone and the golden art novel tarot this is your reading your next romantic offer what is that offer gonna be and when what will the person be like everything so let's jump right in spirit tapping into pile three with the appetite stone what is their next romantic offer next romantic offer for pile three what is their next romantic offer? Ooh. Ooh. Wow, you guys. All the piles today have been super romantic, like specifically romantic. And for you, that is no different. So first of all, we have unbreakable love and true love coming out for you right out the gate. This is the romance of a lifetime, true and lasting love is here for you with true love unbreakable love this person has genuine love for you you can overcome any issues that may arise so this isn't someone that's going to give up on you this isn't someone that's going to give up on the connection this is someone who's going to stick it out because you're the person that they want to be with we have nothing has gone wrong and be present so spirit is really urging you to be present in the moment and to know that you know, if you feel like oh, love hasn't come yet, there must be something more I have to do or I must have done something wrong. I made a wrong decision. It's a setback. It's only a setback if you believe it's a setback. Don't manifest a actual setback into your life by believing that just because you, you know, made a choice that you would consider to be the wrong choice. That means that now all of a sudden you got to wait longer for love or whatever, whatever. Let spirit tell you that. If, if that's the case, you know, but don't go just believing that and, and manifesting that into your life, speaking that over your life. Nothing has gone wrong says, trust the process. This connection is divinely timed. So spirit is saying, listen, the only thing that caused that disappointment is the fact that you assigned that time frame whenever you were expecting love to come into your life. I didn't give you a confirmation. I didn't say that that's when it was going to come in. You know, so if you chose to believe that and then you got disappointed, that don't don't feel like that's me. You know, that's not a reflection of your journey. That's a reflection of your belief. So we have be present. You will attract love by enjoying life as it is wherever you are. Be all there. And I feel like that's more your purpose at this time, um, because I feel like you've done your part and, and spirits got your back. So it's really just kind of like an energy of you needing to um start to create a happy life you know a life that someone can be interested in a life that someone can you know be mystified by instead of getting into a connection and and having all of your focus be on the connection give someone else you know something to see to experience differently outside of them to be excited about one of the best parts of you know falling is love in love is getting to know someone and seeing all the things that they're interested in and where their life has gone and what they've been doing have that for someone else to enjoy at the minimum, but really for you, you know, make sure you keep up on your day to day life and you're not just waiting for a connection to fully throw yourself in because also later in the connection, as the honeymoon phase starts to wear down, it can be very damaging to the connection. If you don't have your own stuff going on and you're just always looking at your partner to entertain you, to do something for you, to just be in love with you all the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? I had a partner like that and it freaking sucked. It was so soul sucking. I'm like, Oh my God. I didn't know I signed up to be an entertainer. So spirit is kind of saying, you know, be present here in the moment. Start to create um, happiness in other areas of your life because you got love down packed. I don't really feel like there's anything for you guys to do. 
Different path says you're not on the same page with this person you have in mind. The directions you want to move into are different. So there may be an element of letting go of someone. We'll see as the spread goes on. Um, that's the first sign of who this could be. It's looking like it'll be a, a, a new connection. And then we have love your shadow. Accept and work with the flaws in yourself so that you can learn to accept others as they are. So loving your own shadow and the, own, the, the things that you have that are wrong with you or not wrong, but just like, you know, low vibrational or things that you don't exactly love about yourself. Accepting those elements of yourself will help you have empathy and understanding of the things that other people struggle with. So if you struggle with setting boundaries, but you don't struggle with allowing yourself to experience love, maybe it's vice versa for someone else. They have strict, 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 strict boundaries um, and we're to the point where they don't compromise so they keep themselves from experiencing love, you know? But you can understand that if you can understand yourself and where you may falter. Let's see. Oh my God, you guys, this is the third time this has come out today. It's come out for every single group. That is so, 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 so exciting. Because when I post these videos, I always watch the video and I pick my own pile because I forget the messages. I'm like, I'm just like channeling, 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 doing the reading. And then once I post the video, I watch it with you guys and I pick a pile. And that's so exciting to see that, you know, it's more of a collective energy that we're all going to have love coming through pretty soon. So that's super exciting. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. This is a great time to set some intentions. And beyond that, I'm just getting a set it and forget it energy. Like I said, for you guys, I really feel that, um, I really feel that anything, um, you know, needed from you has pretty much already been accomplished. We have children. Your love life is being affected by children. You may have a child. Spirit is saying this is not going to be an issue for your next partner. Um, also, your love life is being affected by your own growth. You know, I feel like you guys, it's time to expand your own beliefs and understanding instead of staying where you are because staying in that frequency will only give you exactly what you have now. So Spirit is saying like, you know, when things go wrong, etc., allow people to fold themselves out of your your life or allow things to go wrong or get comfortable with that uncomfortability start to process it because this is for your expansion you know going from boy to man girl to woman there's like an energy here of now you can have a higher connection why we keep getting all this energy of like something you've been i feel like this has been a long time coming for you guys but just to finish that thought before i was just saying um Dang, I lost the thought. I'm too young to be forgetting like this, but I think you can fill in the blanks. I feel like I, I almost said the whole thing. I think I was just talking about, um, you know, allowing yourself to expand and grow allows you to have a higher level connection, to have more than what you've already had. And the frequency that you are in, you can only really attract what else is in that frequency. And if you've pretty much explored all the types of people, all the types of connections where you are, you, you want to expand. And yes, it's going to be uncomfortable. Um, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So more about divine timing. Spirit really kind of saying nothing has gone wrong. Trust that. Throw your hat, throw your name in the hat one last time. Like tell spirit what it is that you want, what it is that you're looking for. And, um, in process, you're being initiated, uh, initiated into forgiveness. Also, having that energy in your heart and your aura just weighs you down and it keeps you from experiencing something better. When you're trying to get to those higher frequencies, which the highest frequency is essentially love. So when you're trying to get to that highest frequency, if you still have hate and animosity in your heart, let that go for you so that you can experience better because at the end of the day, karma's going to get them. I just did a reading on... Um, their karma for hurting you or what they did to you. If I posted it already, I don't know the order I'm posting it. Check out, check it out. If not, look out for it because it'll be posted soon. But that one was real, real juicy. Trust. <laughs> do you know that Miko song? I'm going to get right with you. Like, Spirit was like, I'm going to get right with you. So people will get, you know, people will get their karma. Um, but yeah, we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal from the past, you experience more love in present moments because you're closer to that frequency. You have more access to that frequency because you don't have this BS holding you down, tethering you to the lower energies, the lower vibrations, and um, you will be able to have more love. So forgive, forgive, forgive. This is all for your sake. All right, let's get into the tarot. And let's see. You know what? No, I'm actually being called to pull from this one first to um 
tap into the person's energy that's making the love offer. Spirit, who's making the love offer? What is their energy? What energy do they embody? Ooh. Ooh, wow, this is interesting. So we have uh, Earth, Water, and um, Fire energy. We got Virgo and Sagittarius. Wow, that's a very interesting combination. That feels like a very interesting person. I don't even really know how to take that because Virgo is the small details, but Sag is the bigger picture. So it's just like, and then like water with this would be like the intuition to lead them. So it's like they know what to work on. They know what to do. This is what definitely a full rounded person. Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But it can also be water energy just in itself, not even in relation to the signs. Water is all about uh, intuition. It's about dense, density. It's about the consciousness, the subconscious, the conscious, the unconscious. Um, I feel like whatever is in your mind is going to kind of be manifested. And if you're someone who did a lot of or does a lot of daydreaming, imagining, <laughs> that's me. Whenever I work out, whenever I'm on the treadmill, I like I have like 30 minutes of a whole fantasy of a, of a parallel universe in some sort of scenario that I'm living out. <laughs> so if you guys are like that, you have a very active, you know, imagination and things like that, you're going to get to explore some of that through this person. And it's like, and that's the thing, Earth. We incarnate here from all parts of this universe. So when you connect with another person, what makes it so magnetic and special is that they have a whole part of the universe that you may or may not be connected to or from that you can explore. So I feel like this person has a lot of depth and a lot to explore. This person is going to be so fulfilling because there's so much to them and they're very different. And I feel like they're very different because again, there's ex this expansion energy. You've only been able to tap into and make connections with attract a certain type of person, certain type of people because of the frequency that you've been at. And now this is like an energy of you like, whew, this is like mind blowing. It's going to be really, really good. This, the, the intimacy with this person is going to be amazing also. Like, whoo, they, sure they sure know how to please a body, you guys. I can feel it. Sagittarius energy and Virgo energy. Someone who's detailed and connected to the earth enough to respect it. Um, and, and also to respect the simple things, nature, going on walks, connecting with spirituality, taking care of the 3D body, eating healthy, um, you know, like staying away from vices, smoking, drinking, too many things that are going to, I feel like they're health conscious. Um, and then Sagittarius, someone who likes to explore the world, explore the consciousness, explore your body, explore all sorts of things. Someone who has a, like a very fiery energy is, woo -hoo -hoo. you guys, I'm getting chills. I can't tap into the intimacy anymore because spirit is just getting, well, I don't even know if it's spirit. I think it's just this person's energy I'm tapping into. <laughs> spirit ain't gonna do all of this. The more I tap into it, the more I'm seeing. And it's just like, this person is a freak. <laughs> Goodness gracious, they are a freak. And it's not even like, oh, they're so freaky, like they get to try all this weird shit. Like It's like they just, you know, they know how to please a body and they want to make you very happy, I'll say. Any other energies want to come out for this person? What energy do they embody? Like I said, I got to get off that because I'm like, ooh, this is turning into an 18 plus reading. Okay, we're just going to leave it at that. Um, all right, Spirit, can you tell me about this love offer? Tapping back into the love offer itself. What else can you tell me about this offer? What else can you tell me about this offer? We got a couple that flipped, or it was just one. Ooh, this person is... Oh, wow. This is going to be interesting. I do get an energy of proving yourself worthy. Just stay open-minded with me for a second, you guys, because the thing about this person is I feel like in most of your relationships, you guys, you have been the cool one. You have been the one who knew a lot about spirituality. You have been the one who was super smart. You have been the go-getter. You have been the enlightener. And as you guys are rising frequencies, it's 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 like, you know, you're in new rooms. You know how people say like, 
your name is being spoken in rooms that you haven't been in yet like kind of like this energy of you know people in higher places are knowing you they know you they've heard of you they're acknowledging you you know you're being recognized even though you don't see it or know that that's the energy that I get. So that's what I'm saying. Like, be open-minded because it's not like you're going to have to prove yourself to this person. Like, you're going to have to gravel at their feet or anything. But you are going to have to prove that you're ready for this kind of relationship. And, you know, being in the space that you have been, the truth of the matter is you got to get that energy off of you. And I don't see that transition happening. Well, I see worth waiting for. You have a little bit more time. I would say like three months max before this comes through because it feels it feels like it's coming in very soon and that's why spirit is telling you to get rid of you know really spirit said you know forgiving and learning for you and then also like growing up you know with that children card going from boy to man from girl to woman um from child to adult you know that energy of growth because there's a higher expectation of you that you haven't been held to up until this point so people that you're going to be dealing with moving forward this romantic offer you know, it's, it's, it's very stern. And I just get this energy about how, um, <laughs> I was watching this Beyonce clip the other day. It was a reel somebody posted and, um, that's, she's a Virgo and so is Michael Jackson. And, um, you know, they're, they're both amazing entertainers, but that have had to be very strict and stern with themselves and people around them to be where they are. And it was, I'm a, a diva. I'm a, I'm a, a diva like that's the song that was playing and then she was like lights and then like you know the lights were shining in the wrong place and she was like somebody get in fire I'm a, a diva <laughs> and I was cracking up and I was like that's so funny how people see Beyonce as just like the sweet loving person but not that she isn't but she's also very stern you don't get to be a Beyonce Beyonce by just being a sweetie it does not work that's the real that's the projection that they will put out but um it just doesn't work behind the scenes trust and believe she's getting folks together because she accepts nothing but excellence and that's this energy it's it's stern and I feel like that's why spirit didn't want me to get into the tarot cards yet <laughs> spirit wanted me to get into their energy and kind of entice you and let you know very much so worth it before we get to this part that makes you just click off like I don't want to deal with it the hell no I'm not gonna prove myself to nobody I don't prove myself enough but it's just like that's the truth of the situation you know like when you I always use this example when you first start at a job you know you're you're your team member so manager tells you what to do every day you get to leave your work at work and, and go on but once you're assistant manager you may have to take some of that work home and you're in new spaces now you're in the manager meetings that the team doesn't get to know so at the team member level you may be pissed off uh, they tell us everything last minute you know da, 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 da. but now as your assistant manager or manager you're being initiated into new rooms where you now have more responsibility you have to hold yourself to a higher standard you can't gossip with everybody like you could as team member because now you're assistant manager so there's a level of like protection preservation of self and this journey and, and everything that you have to be initiated into so there's a higher level of responsibility coming with your person king of pentacles in reverse and the sun in reverse ten of swords in reverse <laughs> spirit is kind of saying you know the journey isn't exactly over in terms of uh work to do we have the emperor in reverse you know they kind of need to see that you're someone because that's the thing like even though this rom this romantic connection you know Sagittarius this is someone who's adventurous water someone who's emotionally connected they're not run by their emotions they're very much so still grounded they know that romantic relationships and love is less about the romance of it all and more about the commitment and the action you take so they're not overrun by their emotions you know they could be attracted to you feel so energetically connected to you in love with you but that is not going to keep them with you if you don't do your part and if you're not mature if you're not someone who can handle this level of connection so and that's the truth that's the truth of leveling up a lot of times there's more responsibility you know what i mean like me if you are an entrepreneur or someone who works um for yourself you know like a lot of people call me all the time and they're just like hey let's go out to eat or hey let's do this hey let's do that because they think that i don't work just because i work from home if i don't tell myself to get your ass up every day and and film these videos or do these readings people don't get their readings on time this 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 channel doesn't get to run 
So it's just like, you know, you got to take that initiative yourself to kind of initiate yourself into a higher level connection. And then Knight of Cups, you'll get the offer. So there's still work to be done. You know, the work isn't over. Ten of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. It's not just like, ooh, easy breezy um, from here, but so, so, so worth it. And once you are to the place where it's like, okay, you've proven yourself, you know, um, to the journey, etc you you get all the rewards so very interesting energy coming up for you guys pulling from my cards of time deck to get the time frame we have december and we have patience is needed is that the third card about patience we've got more so we've gotten an energy of divine timing but december and patience is needed has come up let's see what else comes through what else can you tell me we have fall, so December would be winter, but we have fall. Sagittarius season, wow, November 22nd to December 21st. I'm gonna stop, I'm not gonna beat the dead horse because Spirit is clearly saying this is happening towards the end of the year for you guys. We got December, then we got fall, and then we got November and December, so I'm, I'm getting a pretty strong, confident energy from that 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 is what we're looking at as far as timing. But as soon as this can come through for you, it will. And for all of you, you're not gonna have to wait that long. Seriously, this is very soon energy. I think, if anything, I feel like because this is such a serious thing, spirit is really gonna be going off of you and when you're ready. So it's like this person, I feel like they're already ready. They're open. Like if I had to say they're living life right now, they're just, you know, kind of working. Um, I feel like they go to gym. I feel like they eat healthy. I feel like they're just living life, enjoying life, enjoying friendships, etc. I feel like they're already ready. This person making you this love offer, I feel like they're already ready. And they would, you know, if you were ready today, they would, they would start this journey today. I don't feel like there's really anything holding them back, which is good. Because that means you don't have to worry about any BS. Um... But I feel like spirit is like, this is, This could come in very soon. This, is, this could come as soon as next week, for real. But also, I think that spirit is giving this to the end of the year because some of you may have to learn, not the hard way, but may really have to surrender to the growth because I, spirit doesn't want to put an opportunity in front of your face that you're immediately going to squander because, you know, you're still moving like you're dealing with the same yahoos. You know what I mean? Spirit doesn't want you to ruin this opportunity, and I don't feel like you can. I don't feel like you will either, but um, I feel like that's the deal with the time. So, yeah, you guys, that is what I have for you. This has been my favorite reading I've done so far. Um, you can find me on Etsy. It's in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading, but that is your reading that I have for you today, and I'll talk to you soon. All right, if you chose group four with the mermaid tarot and the sodalite crystal points, this is your reading. Okay. This is your reading. Your next romantic offer, what and when. So let's just jump right in it. Spirit, this is for a pile of four with the sodalite. Can you tell me about their next romantic offer. Group four, so delight. <clears throat> what is their next romantic offer? Ooh. Oh my God. Okay, so you know what? <laughs> you guys, this is the first um, pile that I've got this for. Um, okay, what I feel for this, yeah, is, um, I feel that there's an offer coming through and I feel you starting to enjoy your life. That's actually the best way to put it. I feel like you're starting to enjoy your life and, um, there's someone trying to kind of keep you off track, trying to keep you from your, your new beginning. 
and I do feel like this is someone you have love for. We have pay attention to the signs and reconciliation. So Spirit is calling you to ask yourself, why are they here? Why are they making this offer at this time? Why is why now? Why is this coming in? Pay attention to the signs and reconciliation. The signs you have been noticing are not coincidences. And reconciliation, someone from your past will be returning to your life soon. So it's like you're starting to finally feel happy, starting to finally feel like things are going up for you. Maybe you just got a job offer or you're starting to like enjoy your life more. You feel like you're, you know, finding a groove. Maybe you met a new friend, whatever. And in some way your life has gotten better. And then I just feel this very intrusive energy of someone from the past coming back to you, um, trying to kind of take you off before you even get the offer, like trying to just keep you on their path or put you on a different path. I would say put you on a different path because I feel that this is an energy of someone that you've dealt with before that you've already let go of. Whether you had to or whether they didn't give you any other choice because they wouldn't surrender to the journey of what you guys could have together. I feel like you made the decision to let that go and open yourself up to new possibilities, new love, whatever, whatever. And um, this is someone who's honestly had plenty of opportunities to surrender to a journey with you. We have unrequited feelings and distance. So this is someone you've been in a distance with for a while. And with this unrequited feelings, they weren't showing you love. They weren't fully engaging in this relationship with you. They did not surrender to this relationship. And it's like, you got to question why all of a sudden are you coming in hot? And it almost feels like they're kind of giving you an ultimatum. You know, it's like, why all of a sudden are you coming in hot, giving me this ultimatum? You know, like, why are you so sure and passionate now? Whereas before we've been in separation, we haven't talked for so long or, you know, you haven't made any attempt to communicate with me during our separation to the point where you let it go. Things are finally going good. Things are going better for you. Um, and then they're showing up again. I feel like you guys had an opportunity earlier in life to choose a different path, but you chose to stay in your current city because of this person. Or it could have been outside of this person. It could have been your own fear, whatever. But I feel like you guys just ended a cycle that you ended up in because of a choice that you made. So you either, you know, allowed fear to, to, to overrun what you wanted for yourself to keep you from pursuing your highest dreams, whatever, or this person, you know, kind of offered you this promising life that you wanted to see if they would actually be able to give. And then they didn't. And um, Spirit is saying, pay attention to the signs. You've been getting all of this confirmation, angel numbers, things going right in the 3D, things feeling better for you to the point where you have to consider like, why is this person and this is someone I feel like you've given a lot of love to and attention and energy to so they're can they're gonna feel that shift they're gonna feel you pulling away and I don't feel like it's because you met the new person yet I feel like it's just because they can feel the the shift or they're maybe just neurotic chaotic crazy coming back just like hurricane <laughs> like hurricane just like tornado like you know you may call them that too like Unrequited feelings, they're not as, there's not enough love to keep this relationship going in a healthy way. Distance, the separation you're experiencing is necessary to help the relationship grow. From what I'm feeling, I feel like the separation you're experiencing was necessary to help you grow and you're about to be ushered into um, a new life, you know. We have take a leap of faith and open your eyes. So there's like a need or an opportunity for you to finally put this cycle to bed to see this person see this relationship for exactly what it is something that probably can't give you a very promising future and to let it go take a leap of faith only when you're willing to step out of your comfort zone will you reap great rewards at the bottom of open your eyes it says if someone shows you who they are believe them the first time and i feel like you already know what it's like to get wrapped up in this person and um, I, I'm hearing how empty of me to be so full of you, you know, like there's something that you've gone through with them already. And spirit is saying, even though this is um, a for sure thing, which it really probably isn't, even though you're getting this offer and to turn it down potentially means like loneliness, you've already started to create happiness for yourself. So you may be alone, but not lonely. And also, I'm really feeling an energy pretty heavy of a new person coming through. 
So we have boundaries in third party situations. It's like, you know them. You got to call a spade a spade, you know, open your eyes. See this person for who they truly are. Don't listen to what they're saying. That's why it's so important before you go on a date even. Before you go on a date, before you have any like important conversations to tap into how you feel, before making any movements or choices, tap into how you feel, tap into what you believe in and ask yourself truthfully outside of what this person is going to offer, what do you want out of the situation before they come in and sweet talk you? Because if you are in a place like right now where you're like, I'm happy, you know, I can see my life getting better and better. I want to open myself up to new possibilities. And then this person comes in, hurricane, tornado, whoever they are. And they're like, oh, I'm offering you this and this and this. I want a full relationship with you. I love you. Da, 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 da. It's like, you don't even know me to love me because you didn't spend any time getting to love me, to, to know me. I love you and gave you everything that I could. You can't even say that truthfully. You know, decide what you want and tap into how you feel before this person can program you. It's like program or be programmed. That's a, about, that's a lot of this existence, you know? You decide your own life purpose or trust and believe. Society, the matrix, will tell you where you could go. You could work up under this fast food joint for $13 an hour. You could work at this call center, da 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 da, da. They're going to program you unless you program yourself. So... I feel like you guys have already learned about that and you've already been through a cycle where you were used and there's an opportunity here to move forward into something totally different, totally new. We have boundaries in third party situation. I feel like this person can't keep them hand, hands to themselves, can't keep their private parts to themselves. Like, I feel like this person may have like an addiction to intimacy. Like, I feel like they can't commit to one person. They, they find it really hard and they have moments like this where they get inspired and they want to, but can they? You're going to have to open your eyes and be honest about whether or not you think they can. Other people may be interfering with this relationship and dimming its full potential boundaries. You need to teach people how to treat you by being clear on what you will and will not allow. I don't feel like a conversation is going to affect this person. They're just like, I, no. I don't feel like telling this person, okay, if you want to be back in my life, then, you know, you have to communicate. You have to um, stop talking to those hoes. You have, like, I don't feel like that's going to work with someone like this. And honestly... The energy that I get from this person, I won't say that they're, it is, it's a bit demonic. I didn't even go hold you. Like, I, excuse me for using such harsh of a word, but it doesn't feel like they're in control of their body. It feels like they're a slave to their vices and to feeling certain things. So like they're getting controlled by energies, entities outside of them. They're so addicted to like the dopamine release from having sex that that's what they chase. And in chasing that, and just trying to get to that frequency, they're being overtaken by energies, entities outside of them who know that they're like sleep. You know, it's like they're not consciously living. So it's it's quite dangerous to be attached to someone like this, group four. But we have the wedding card. So glad this came out because I was getting really curious. I'm like, okay, okay, but what's coming? Um, what's coming is... Ooh, and that's eerie. What's coming is an opportunity to get married, but you can marry yourself to this person. You can. It's a choice, you know. They're not going to force you to be in a relationship with them. They they can only accept, or sorry, uh, they can only like influence. You can you have to accept it. So I do feel like they're going to offer you a higher level of connection, but this is not someone who can maintain that. They can make offers all they want, but can they maintain it? Are they tapped into the love to do it? I really don't think so, you guys. But um, there's a wedding offer coming in for you guys. And also, things are getting so bright and happy and exciting. You're feeling better um, on your personal journey. Like, personally, uh, you're, you're feeling pretty good that, you know, I'm just like, hang on to that. Because I feel like this person puts you in a dark place. The situation involves marriage is what it says at the bottom of the card. Anything else on that spirit? We have forgiving and learning that came out and then for yourself that wanted to come out. It didn't come all the way out, but it wanted to. So I really feel like spirit is calling you to get some closure with this person because we don't always get an opportunity to have closure. So, you know, that's the thing. When people come to you, if you already have your mind made up of what your intention is, you can program the conversation. So... You know, like, so for an example, if someone is coming to you and they're offering you a love offer, this is someone that's done you wrong in the past, of course, they're going to have to listen to um, 
what has happened in the past and everything you have to say. So it's like, you know, you can start the conversation like, um, well, this is what I have problems with, or, you know, this is what you made me feel in the past. And then finish that conversation with, so that's why I won't be proceeding with your ass. <laughs> you know what I mean? Making them listen, listen, listen since you have the upper hand because they have to let you talk if they're asking for something from you. And then circle that conversation and finish it with the closure. But if you say, no, I can't be with you because, and then you list all those reasons, they're just going to go. So they're not going to give you an opportunity to say everything you want to say if you're telling them no. <laughs> so set your intention before you get there so that you can forgive this person because you know that they know how you felt and you got to say everything that you needed to say. <sighs> Forgiving and learning as you release and heal from the past, you experience more love in present moments is what it says at the bottom of the card. So um, I, I feel a, a cycle closing and a new one beginning for you guys. Spirit, can you tell me about the new? I'm going to do you guys how I did group three. Let's tap into the person's energy, the new offer, the wedding offer. Let's tap into that first and then we'll do tarot. Spirit, what is the energy of the, the, new, the new offer coming through? Capricorn. Okay, they could have a Capricorn Venus. They could really embody Capricorn energy. Oh my gosh, these cards have come out so much today. We got Capricorn, Aquarius, and Jupiter. So there's someone all about expansion, open-mindedness, -minded, stability as well. They're not, there's someone who knows how to build, build stability. Ooh, Mercury came out, a good communicator as well. You love to freaking see it with Leo at the bottom of the deck. So someone who gets what they want, someone who has active masculine energy, someone who's a go-getter, someone who's passionate. But we have Mercury and Jupiter, the planet of communication in everyday life, the planet of home, expansion, um, growth, stability, love, can be about love a little bit with Jupiter. It's about building families and things like that too. Um, two very, like two really great placements. Wow. And then we have Capricorn all about stability, definitely go get her energy with Capricorn, someone who values, um, partnership, stability, camaraderie. I'm seeing a, a picture of it. I'm seeing like a handshake. So it's like, I'm seeing like the handshake emoji. Like you got me, I got you. We're in this together type of energy. And then we have Aquarius. So like an open-minded energy of freedom. We can live, we can, um, create our own reality not based off of what society wants from us but like we can really create our own version of happiness in our own way so the energy of the new offer is someone who values stability but also aquarius you know is open-minded and mutable jupiter someone who wants expansion someone who wants to get married someone who wants to move into that uh level of their life and if you've, have, if you've had a throat chakra block with the last person, if you haven't been able to communicate how you feel, what you want, etc., this is going to be very different because this person is a good, very good communicator. So Spirit, what else can you tell me about this relationship? Wow, four wands, that is marriage. That is marriage energy. And I get this amazing energy with them moon gazing. It's like, how did we end up here? I can feel this. I can feel the warmth on their skin. You know, this looks like they're in Hawaii. Like, the warmth of their skin, having their union and kind of just clinging on to each other. Like, how did I get so lucky? How did we get here? But just being so grateful and moon gazing and kind of like almost reminiscing on all the things that you've been through, but also opening yourself up to future potential and creating and just being so grateful. I get so a, such a grateful, thankful energy from you and your your next love offer. <clears throat> Oof, yeah. Ten of cups, wonderful. Seven of cups, so that's like an energy of I choose you. I'm hearing I choose you. This is so freaking sweet. All these readings today have been super romantic and like almost cheesy in a way because it's so sweet and like everything that you would hope for, but it's kind of Disney, you know, but it's real. 
Seven of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Cups. This is definitely someone you can settle down with, someone you can share with. I feel like wherever you lack, they pick up and vice versa. You know, you guys are both equally, wow, like you, you both want to provide for each other. You equally share this table, equally share responsibility of the relationship. You both take care of each other. Like this is true partnership. This relationship is true partnership. And it's like, I choose you. I could have other offers, but I choose you. And this type of energy is personally my favorite. Like, I love when you have someone who's like hot, they attract a lot of energy and options, but like they're disciplined to stay faithful and someone who chooses you, is that's just so hot to me. Even if it's like, okay, they could choose to make bad business deals or they could choose to, you know, screw over their friends to get on top. Like they choose to do things the right way. They choose to be an upstanding person. They choose to be like a solid person of good character. And right now I'm holding my hand over my heart. You can't see it obviously, but my other hand is over my heart. And I just noticed, and I feel like that's just like the protection and the genuine, like you can really trust this person with your heart. You really can. You really can. So we have the two of wands, which is like scary when you see all of this and hear all of this because two of wands does represent a choice and in the beginning of your spread I was saying you could end up in a marriage with them the other person of the past you can essentially miss out on this and I do feel and I rarely feel this but I do feel that you can miss out on this because the thing is this person is ready for marriage you know so if you're looking for marriage and they're looking for marriage <sighs> Um, but you choose to fool around with this other person, you could end up on a cycle with them for the next two years, but spirit is not going to make this, this person wait. They're a gem. They've been waiting. They've been doing the work just like you have, you know, imagine you having to wait two more years just because you're, that's why there's really like no such thing as like a, there can, a partner can be divinely guided, but you still have to choose them, you know? And that's why a lot of connections don't work because spirit can lead a horse to water, can't make him drink. Spirit can lead you together to someone who's so good for you. But if you haven't done the work or you choose not to do the work, you don't get the connection. Just like this last person, they had you, you know, the person in front of them who was so willing to give and they squandered it. You know what I mean? And I don't feel like it's trustworthy moving forward, but now they're missing out on you. Same deal here. So it's just, it's just kind of scary that you can miss out on so much. It's it's just it's scary how our choices can lead us into like two totally different separate timelines that are so drastically different. We have the Five of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. And it's funny because <laughs> this is how I feel, you guys. I see you guys kind of shaking, not even looking at it because it is tempting. It's like this person is trying to offer you, here's everything that you always wanted from me. Here you go. And you're just kind of like shaking, putting your head in your lap, not even looking at it because you do have a part of your heart that wants to love and be and believe this person. But it's like, no. Knight of Swords, I have to pursue something more. I've already pursued that. I've already lived out that cycle. I have to at least give myself the opportunity to pursue and to choose something else. And that something else is amazing. I gotta say. Ooh, King of Pentacles, Ten of Swords in Reverse. Somebody who ain't gonna hurt you. Someone who's gonna take care of you. Someone who loves you. Someone who has long-term stability. Like, ooh, you love to see it. Like, ooh, that's giving me a little uh, Jason Momoa tease. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah you guys um choice matters we have the ten of wands and the knight of pentacles which is so funny because she looks very studious here um you have an opportunity to experience something more moving on um and leaving this wasteland you see her navigating with these uh underwater uh volcanoes all around her and Ten of Wands, she's carrying a heavy load, but she's very persistent. She has grit and she's moving forward on her journey to navigate out of that situation and experience something more. Oh, I didn't even do the time for you guys. Oh my goodness. I almost ended this reading without even checking on the time. Spirit, can you tell me when this is coming through for them? When is this coming through? We have eight. This could be um, August, which is the eighth month. 
This could be on the 8th of the month. Let's see. What else can you tell me here, Spirit? 8 could also be significant to you. We have fall. I don't think August is technically fall yet. I feel like fall comes in at least September. We have five. This could be, um, what is that, May? May or the fifth of the month. Let's see. What is this coming through, Spirit? And then we have 16. A lot of the numbers came out for you guys, surprisingly. So for whatever reason, these numbers are significant to you, but that's what we got as far as time frame. Spirit, can you give me one last message for group four? What else do they need to hear? Well-deserved. This is the one that flipped over. I'm going to take that one. We have Saint Germain with karma releasing. I know that's right. Move beyond drama, create your your own path, make room for good energy. Mic drop. That's what I have for you guys. You can find me on Etsy if you want your own private tarot reading. I'm so proud of you and you're so deserving of this new journey. I'm happy for you. Um, and yeah, that's what I have for you guys today. I'll talk to you later. Thank you.